or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Hello everybody, my name is the Bummer Gamer, and welcome back to the death battle. So, sorry, I am le I... Yeah, I am very late to this death battle, I don't know. I told- I, f I forgot about it, and I just realized... Wait, did that book come out last week? And I'm guessing I'm really late. <laughs> And, yeah, you know, so this is Ryu from Street Fighter and J Jet, no, Jin, Jet from T Taken, which I played before. I played one of those before, and, okay, why is this showing up? So, oh, no, no, don't start yet. So, if you want to watch this in 720, go ahead. I'll put in the video in the link below. So yeah, so so we did see Ryu fought a, last time. He was fighting Scorpion with Scorpion One, which I did vote for Scorpion. So it's, and I have seen Ryu fight Jen before. This is is there's this YouTuber called Mighty Raccoon, which I'll take a description, put the link of his channel below. And yeah, he once did a battle of Ryu versus Jen, and Jen won that. So let's see if Ryu will win this time since he lost a Scorpion. But I'm gonna take my vote on Jin on this one. So here we go. It was black and white, now it's color. There's no way I can lose. Talk is cheap. The answer lies in the heart of battle. <laughs> Five. A token! <laughs> He's gonna turn bad, isn't he? I shall show you Rage mode right now. Lift your hands, power up the sea, who can stand? 
dead. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I almost did. Oh. I walk the path of the true warrior. KO! Oh, I won this time. I get time. why it's called the power of nothingness now. There's nothing left in his chest. This one was a tricky match to decipher. Both Ryu and Jin had many displays of incredible feats, but very few truly showcased the upper limits of their power. We know that in their base forms, both could lift around 30 tons and move at supersonic speeds. Also, we know Ryu could maintain a much better level of control and discipline in Muno Ken than Jin in Devil Form. Yeah, hardcore Tekken fans know he had pretty good control over it in that Blood Vengeance movie, but it's pretty inconsistent with game canon. Even Tekken's creator has said it's not canon. Also, Jin's fall from orbit feat was impressive, but it is hard to quantify due to its presentation. Even if we assume we are to take it literally, a man of Jin's size landing at terminal velocity would equal around 18 tons of force. But to find their limits, we had to scale them to comparable characters. Scaling Jin to his father Kazuya was logical. Kazuya survived that 3.7 megaton laser blast, and it's clear it was necessary for him to be in devil form to do so. Kazuya's own laser blast was strong enough to help kick off a volcano's eruption, a feat which could require up to 100 megatons of TNT. But that's a very generous estimate, and its actual potency is likely much less. Since their power comes from the same place, and Jin's even defeated Kazuya before, it's safe to say Jin can do all this too. As for Ryu, we knew exactly who we had to scale him to. Let's talk about Akuma. First off, just to prove this scaling is reasonable, Ryu and Akuma share very similar abilities. Both were trained in the Atsutsuken fighting style, and both possessed the Satsui no Hado. They fought each other several times, and when the story was all said and done, Ryu emerged, ultimately victorious, based on his skill alone. Now that that's out of the way, let's watch Akuma punch an island to death! With a single strike, Akuma managed to break apart an entire island so thoroughly that Ryu, who was on the island, was left floating helplessly in nearly clear water. Assuming the island is somewhat circular, we've estimated the volume and deduced that in order to fragment the island like this, Akuma's punch must have been over 400 megatons of TNT. That's more than four times stronger than anything a devil gene has pulled off, and Ryu takes blows from this guy all the time! Sure, Ryu wasn't getting hit with 400 megatons every time Akuma landed a punch, but the most a Devil Gene carrier has ever survived amounts to less than 1% in comparison. Even if Jin could survive a strike as strong as Kazuya's volcano feat, it still pales in comparison. The fact that Ryu survived being on the island as it was blown apart helps justify this scaling too. Well, Jin still takes the speed advantage with that flight into orbit, but it doesn't mean much when the difference of power and toughness is this massive. When it came down to it, Ryu's strength, durability, and control were just too far out of Jin's reach. Wait, Wiz, we forgot a feat! You remember that Gunjack robot? A later model of Jack once destroyed a meteor! Couldn't we just scale Jin to that? Well, it's unsupported by canon material, but even if we did, Guess who destroyed an even bigger meteor? Akuma. Akuma. Damn. Well, gin up, everybody. Ryu's taking care of business. The winner is Ryu. Oh. Ah! Llegamos aquí por nuestros amigos. Shut up. Oh, Facebook. Facebook, no. Thanks for watching. If you guys want exclusive commentary on the episode, just click that little box right over there. And if you want the Stupid battle enemy. music from this episode, you can get it by clicking the link in the description. You know this by now. That was the last episode we watched. Who was next? Afro Samurai. I know Semi Jack, but I don't know Afro Samurai. Huh. This stuff is gonna scare everybody, I bet. I bet it's gonna scare everybody, because people. <laughs> Sorry, the recording ended. I was about to say something. 
Um, so, Samurai Jack versus Afro Samurai. I know Samurai Jack, but I don't know Afro Samurai. Um, this could be a tough death battle, I guess. I am going to vote for Samurai Jack, but... But I don't know about Afro Samurai. I don't I don't really know him, but uh. But So So yeah, that's the next death battle. So so this battle of Ryu and Jin was a good battle. It kinda makes it makes sense why Ryu won and all that. Yeah, so So Like if you like this video comment or Or even if if you want to comment Who is gonna win the next death battle just just say in the comments explain And subscribe Thanks for watching I'll see you all in the next video Bye bye Bye